Guess what? We're back at Parkwood, Coventry, United Kingdom. I'm so sorry about how boringly we do the same walk every day, um, but I can't think of a way around it as we are not allowed to drive to somewhere to walk and we are only able to go out uh, from our house and walk and to drive to a local the local supermarket so this is our lockdown in the united kingdom but uh, we can still walk out in this beautiful scenery somebody's been layering this a hedge here that was put down a few years ago now and it looks like it's not got the best of layering jobs but uh, I've seen some really lovely stuff out in the countryside um, but there we are us walking down it's a chilly day here in Coventry and we are just having a, a, a tiny walk today not very far just in order to get a little bit of fresh air and uh, sadly my tendonitis I think I might have done a little bit too much yesterday tendonitis is back again so I'm having to um, have a very short walk today bitterly cold although I think that's probably due to a little breeze rather than that it is freezing so I hope that all of you everywhere wherever you are you're staying well and staying safe and uh, how happy I would be if you rang the bell subscribed shared all, all the usual stuff that would be fantastic thank you but do have a fabulous day and I know there are people who watch from around the world and I have to say thank you very much for that and I've had some very lovely comments I had a very strange one yesterday um, I made a comment a long long while ago about something oh that's right a digger dug up a pipe um, and uh, I just made a comment that uh, oh dear there'll be an investigation and somebody who I presume drives a digger was very upset but it was no trouble I don't reply to trolls they just um, they just get deleted but um, most of you are such wonderful people so thank you very much for watching now look at this lovely red on this uh, tree here the new the new uh, growth on the tree is really lovely there we are down by the the woods we've just come out from Parkwood as my good lady and uh, we are going across here yeah there's that new growth look how lovely and deep red almost crimson look at it what a lovely color isn't that just those lovely red twigs and there's the buddleia with all last year's dead stuff on it but um, this land here goes rough every now and again and then they um, clear it all there's cowslips and all sorts of stuff on there and uh, yeah here's all these yeah the red ones again yeah aren't they lovely there's like a little stream or there was a little stream I think there still is back in there somewhere you might just about be able to see it um, but but of course over the years it's all grown up and they've put this walkway in of course sadly on a, on a rust, uh, rusty on a, <laughs> on a frosty day those wires on the top there are rather slippery and then they put yeah they put these rather strange seats up for people to sit on But of course they do they did the other day gather snow for people to make snowballs from and when we came this way the other day this little pond up here which often has got lots of frogs born in um, was frozen but of course by the time yesterday arrived it was um, all thawed out and it is just a slight breeze we're getting probably I think it's probably a westerly breeze but um, they put these massive stones here and our grandkids when they were younger 
used to love climbing on those. And here we go over the little bridge. And this pond, some years, dries right up and kills all the frog spawn, unfortunately. Uh, this was frozen the other day. But um, I don't know what will happen, whether they'll well, the frogs will come back because a lot of them this year they dried up earlier in the year so there wasn't any I think, doubt if any of them survived at all to be honest because we had that very hot spring here April was roasting now I'm told they've done 2 million vaccinations so far in the UK uh, they're saying it's well below what it needs to be but um, it's going slowly going the right way I haven't had any of you comment but I have sort of asked a few times if you have any idea about drones let me know the ones under 250 grams um, I do want one I said I was getting one but it's it's a nightmare I go on to some of these online things and say I want one under 250 grams and they show me every conceivable drone from about 15 pounds up to two or three thousand so I just I just want one under 250 grams of reasonable spec so if anybody can do that for me how grateful I will be well I'm going to say bye for now and uh, we'll look back towards the woods thank you for watching this is the Rambling Rambler in Coventry, United Kingdom. Dave to his friends.